in this video we are going to do mesomeric effect which is otherwise called as resonance effect and mesomeric effect can also be written as m effect or r effect like inductive effect and electromeric effect this effect is also one of the electron displacement effect so what is resonance effect certain organic compounds can be represented by more than one structure for example if you take benzene you can write like this also and this is taken as the first form and this is second form and these two structures are called as resonance structures or canonical structure and this resonance structures can be obtained by shifting of pi electrons for example if you shift this one you will be getting this bond and if you shift this one you will be getting this bond and if you shift this pi electrons and you will be getting this bond so by shifting pi electrons you will be getting another structure and these resonance structures are imaginary one they are not real and this effect is what we call it as resonance effect so if you are able to write more structure for a compound by shifting pi electrons then that effect is called as resonance effect or mesomeric effect if you take carbon carbon single bond length in organic compound it is found to be 1.54 picometer if you take carbon carbon double bond length it is 1.34 picometer but in benzene you have double bond as well as single bond but the length carbon carbon bond length if you take it is found to be 1.39 picometer so by experiment they have proved that the value is 1.39 picometer and this value is in between single and double bond it is not 1.34 it is not 1.54 but it is in between one single and double bond and it is experimentally proved this value is the same for all the carbon carbon bond in the case of uh, benzene ring and this resonance structures if you take the properties cannot be explained by none of these structures so none of them explain all the properties of a compound so some properties are explained by one structure and other properties are explained by other structure and this resonance structure they are mixed to form a hybrid structure and these two they mix to form a structure like this and this is what we call it as resonance hybrid and this resonance hybrid is a real structure and all the properties of a compound can be explained by this resonance hybrid and here in this case of benzene ring the bond length carbon carbon bond length is found to be 1.39 picometer and all the carbon carbon bond length are equal so this structure explain all the properties of the benzene ring now you have the central circle in the center and this circle represents the delocalization of pi electron and this is what we have in resonance effect so resonance effect is the effect where you are able to write more resonance structures by shifting pi electrons and that is what we call it as resonance effect or mesomeric effect now very important point is we should have a pi electron for a molecule to show resonance now you take some more example ch2 double bond ch2 where you have a pi bond but it will not show resonance now you take this one you have a pi bond and this compound does not show resonance so presence of pi electrons we cannot say that the molecule show resonance in addition to pi bond or pi electrons we need other conditions also so for example you take this compound now shift this and this is conjugated double bonds you have that means alternatively you have double bond now shift this pi bond over here shift this one and you will be able to get the structure where this double bond becomes single bond and single bond becomes double bond and double bond becomes single bond now this carbon gets the positive charge and this carbon gets the negative charge and this is the resonance structure of this compound and it is represented by double headed arrow the resonance structures are represented by double headed arrow now you take the other example so here you have a pi bond and a charge negative charge now you shift this charge over here 
and pi bond over here, you will be getting this structure. And because of this shift, you are getting a negative charge on this one. And this is the resonance structure of this compound. Now you take the next one, you have a pi bond and lone pair. And you shift this lone pair over here and pi bond over here, you will be getting this structure. And because of this shift, you are getting a negative a lone pair on this carbon. And these two are the resonance structures. So the conjugated double bonds you can have are along with pi bond a charge. It may be a positive charge or negative charge or along with pi bond a lone pair or free radical must be there in order to show resonance. Next we will take this compound 1,3-butadiene and you can write the structure I have shown. So the same resonance structure you can write. And one more structure also you can write. When you shift in the opposite direction, you will be getting one more structure like this. And these three are the resonance structures or canonical structures of 1,3-butadiene. Now you number this carbon atom. You have four carbon atoms totally. Now when you take the bond length of carbon 1 and 2 and 3 and 4, it is found to be shorter than carbon 2 and 3. But experiment shows that all the carbon-carbon bond length are same, are equal. So you mix all these uh, structures, resonance structures, and you will be getting this one. And this is a real structure, which is called as resonance hybrid. And here the carbon-carbon bond length is found to be same. And this example is given in your book. Next, we will go to the types of M effect. M effect, otherwise called as R effect. Like inductive effect and electromeric effect, here also you have two types of M effect. One is plus M effect, that is positive mesomeric effect. Another one is minus M effect, negative mesomeric effect. First, we will take this one, plus M effect. You take an example, this is aniline. You have here one part, this is what we call it as conjugated system, because you have alternate double bond. Now, this is a substituent which we take it as group. Here, the nitrogen has lone pair of electron. Shift this lone pair of electron over here so that you can shift this one. Now, what you are doing is you are having a group and system and the group donates electron to the system or the electrons are migrated from the group to the system. So, thereby you will be able to write more structure. So, when the group donates electron to the system, by that you can write more structures. Then that will come under positive mesomeric effect. Now, you take one more example. Here you take this as system and this you take it as group. Now, this group will have three lone pair of electrons. Chlorine has three lone pair of electrons. And shift one lone pair over here and here one by one you shift. So, what you are doing is, your don group donates electron to the system. Therefore, this comes under plus M effect. So, when the group donates electron to the system, thereby you will be able to write more structures. So, this comes under positive mesomeric effect or positive resonance effect. Plus M effect or plus R effect. So, in plus M effect, the group donates electrons to the system. You remember, group donates electrons to the system. Next, we will go to minus M effect. You take this compound, this is benzoic acid. And this part, you take it as conjugated system. You have alternative double bond. Now, this substituting and COOK group is taken as group. Now, this pi bond gets shifted towards oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. Now, this pi bond gets shifted over here. So, you have a group and system. Here, there is a migration of electrons from the system to the group. Or, the group withdraws electrons from the system. Thereby, you will be able to write more structures. So, when the group withdraws electrons from the system, then it comes under minus M effect or negative mesomeric effect or minus R effect. So, you take one more example. Here, this is taken as system and this is taken as group. Now, 
shift this electron over here, shift this one. Therefore, what you are doing is the group withdraws electron from the system. So, there is a migration of electrons from the system to the group. So, the group withdraws electrons from the system so that you will be able to write more structure. So, it comes under minus MFN. So, you have plus MFN, minus MFN. There are two types. Next, we will do plus M groups. They are nothing but electron donating group. Positive mesomeric effect groups. They are electron donating groups. Example, OH, alcohol, amines, OR, thio alcohol, O, C6H5 phenyl group, etc. You take an example for plus M effect which is given in your book. You take phenol. Here you have two lone pairs of electrons. Shift one lone pair over here so that you shift can shift like this. So, you will be getting one structure where because of the remaining structures you need not to disturb. So, because of this shift, yeah, that single bond becomes double, double bond and you will be getting a positive charge. Because of this shift, you are getting a negative charge here. Now, you shift this negative charge over here and pi bond over here. So, you will be getting a structure. Don't disturb this one and positive charge OH double bond you need not to disturb. So, only you are disturbing the negative charge and this pi bond. So, because of this shift, you are getting a bond here. Because of this shift, you are getting a negative charge. Now, you shift this negative charge over here and pi bond over here. So, you will be getting a structure. Because of this shift, you are getting a bond. Because of this shift, you are getting a negative charge. Now you shift this one here and shift this one. So you will be getting. So because of this shift, you are getting a bond here. And because of this shift, the double bond becomes single bond. And positive charge will be removed. And this shift will give a pair of electrons over here. So these are the resonance structures of phenol. Because of the positive charge on this phenol, it will pull this electron so that the removal of hydrogen as H plus can be easily done. And this mesomeric effect explains the acidity of phenol. Phenol is more acidic. So that will be explained by this resonance effect. So these are the resonance structures of phenol. When you mix all these resonance structures, you will be getting this one which is called as resonance hybrid. Next, we will go to minus M groups, which are called as electron withdrawing groups. Example, COOH group, CHO, CO, CN cyanide group, NO2 group. So, these are minus M groups, that is negative mesomeric effect groups. Thank you for watching. Next video, we will do hyperconjugation.